welcome back people, it's been quite a while, I've been uh, busy doing other stuff, but uh, I'm back in my single player world, the uh, hardcore challenge map for, uh, for X and Hilo, and our baby villager has actually, well our baby zombie has grown up to be a full grown villager now, and he will trade three emeralds for a bookshelf. Just a shame, I don't think I have three emeralds. Let's see what I've got. Do I have emeralds? I've got six emeralds, so okay, I'm, I'm gonna shut up. Um, I've installed the uh, an extra mod, even. It's an add on for uh, X Nihilo called X Aliquo, which is a bridge between Tinker's Construct and X Nihilo. So I can now put all the different parts right into the smeltery, or even the, the dust right here and get double the output. So that's what I am going to try to do now. So let's take this. Uh, why am I always overburdened? I don't know. Okay, let's put that down. I just put that there, and let's see if I have enough iron. Yes, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To make myself a hopper. I even have enough wood. Make a chest and a hopper, and maybe another chest. There we go. Bah. Okay, so I am going to put the hopper. There's the hopper. There's the hopper. Gonna put the hopper here, just on top. And right now I'm just gonna stick in all my. Well, let's stick in all my tin dust. And. So maybe two, because that doesn't combine with each other to form an alloy. Let's put a tin, silver, lead. I don't think these will make something if you combine these. Platinum. Mm, okay, let's leave it at that just to be sure. And I'm gonna grab the ingot cost here and I am going to put the redstone clock right here. I can't access that thing anymore but I can see it's full right here. And that's our first ingot of tin. Way to go! Okay, I finished the border as well, so uh, mobs won't be coming in anymore, except maybe through the nether portal. But that just stopped being not that big of a worry. And I am going to start making the golem farm. Mm. Even though I have only one villager, I can just stick it in there. Uh, before I do that, I don't want to make it out of cobblestone. So I am going to make a little automated system to make, uh, well, stone bricks. So for that I am going to need a redstone furnace. Oops, this one. Yeah, I've been testing some stuff on and off. So let's do that because I don't want to cheat. Okay, machine frame, not that hard. Some glass and some... I am gold, which I should have. Gold. If I am, am I all out of glass? It seems like I am all out of glass. But I should not be all out of uh, sand. There we go. We have some sand left. Okay, let me cook up this sand and then we can go on. Okay, we've got a bunch of glass already. 
so I should be able to make two frame. And I'm going to use some redstone. Do we have some redstone? I'm sure, hope we have some redstone. I forgot to check if we had redstone, and we do not have redstone. That is such a shame. Oh, we have one piece of redstone, and I think we need two. Three. We need three. Don't have three. What are you doing? Why didn't you come prepared to make this video? Jesus. We have more sand in here? No. We have dust. Redstone dust may be made from dust. That sounds pretty reasonable. I literally forgot what you used to make the redstone dust. But let's try with this. Okay, I guess I'll be back after I get some redstone. Uh, what do you know? Yeah, it comes from dust, and we already have some. So we need to build ingot as well before my inventory fills up again. Uh, da -da -da. Oil, and then we need bricks. So, do we have any clay left? Nope, we do not have any clay left. Cobblestone, need some stone. Where does some smooth stone out of my inventory? There we go. And then I'll just go and make some clay. It's not that hard. Just this is this. I really gotta make a system that sucks up the items. Uh, pa -pa. This one's filled with water. And maybe the one upstairs is also filled with water. Let's go have a look see. Yep. Okay, that gives us two pieces of clay, which I can then put down. Break into little balls of clay. Jesus, we're getting so much stuff out of this stuff. <coughs> okay, where clay, glass, sand. <laughs> Some more redstone too, which is always good. Can I put all the clay in? I'm Chocopedias, we've got so many Chocopedias. Stop now. I'm just gonna put the dust in here. Okay. So I'm gonna write stuff as well. got this for updating Tinker's Construct, so no idea what it does. Probably an upgrader sort of thing for, uh, for the battle sign. I don't have any battle signs. I'm gonna put some zombie flesh on the shelves. Just waiting on that last bit of clay now. And there we go. Okay, redstone furnace. Finally. So we want to attach this to our line of cobblestone. Like so. And let's see if I have any more item ducks. And a fluid ducks. 
but I don't seem to have item packs. No big deal. Some tin, and I think some copper. Maybe the other way around. Yeah, just look it up real quick. Duct. Item duct. Opaque. Don't think this is the crafting recipe. Okay, lead sort of by tin. Okay. Need another piece of tin, and I would need some lead. I put, some, I put some lead in here as well, didn't I? It's still just making the tin. Okay, platinum, silver, molten lead. Put that at the bottom. We should start outputting lead now. I mean, <laughs> we're doubling all our, our, our ingots here. So that's quite nice. We've got one piece of lead. So we can make our item cut. It's getting dark already. Alright. We shall put on our item duct. There we go. Tell it to output on the left side. Should be cobblestone in there, so it should be coming through. There's plenty of power. What's it gonna do? Why does it keep being stuffed? Because he can accept cobblestone, but he keeps being stuffed. I don't get it. Let's grab a chest first. Oh, actually, let's grab this thing. And the chest, of course, is got the chest as well. Uh, oh, really? That low on wood? Jeez. Guess I'll have to make a chest out of these things. There we go. Oh, let's see. I have to enter in this to the top and exit through the bottom. I have to go up first. I don't want those to connect. So I should put one of those things in between. Do I have any other slabs or anything? Not like those. I don't seem to have... yeah, I do. There's some oak. Because if you put these in between, they don't connect. Okay. Think, nope, I don't need to enter to the top, but I do need to exit it to the bottom. Into an adjacent chest. There we go. And 
this will make stone bricks for me. Only I can figure out why this keeps being backstuffed. I don't get it. You should just go with the flow. Stone doesn't matter, but I have no idea why this is not filling on its own. This one did. Sixty-two. It's not getting back stuffed. Oh, I know. I'm an idiot. There we go. That should fill it. I hope. Uh, come on. That one is bright red. And this is still 64. Okay, so it is filling. Yep, it's automatically filling. And I need a signal for that one. Activate and go out. Where did you come from? One cow, two cows, but more than enough cows, so I have no idea where you came from. But you are going down. And I am making stone bricks. Now, let me get prepared to make something else. Okay, so while our cobblestone to smooth stone to stone bricks is running, I am going to take care of this little thing. Because I want it to be fully automated, that get stuff inside the chest and not have it spill all the way out. For that, I'm gonna use a very old Minecraft trick and that is flowing water. I'm gonna have to dig into my farm here between quotation marks farm. It's not much of a farm. Get something better later on. Actually, got some room. Okay, so I want everything to be outputted in a chest. Let's put these ingots in here. So I first need some wood again. There we go. I put it in a chest. And I'm going to output it using 5 and 5 for a hopper and another chest. There we go. Chest and a hopper. Let's kind of get night again. Be right back. And we are back. This hopper will output to the chest. And let's see, where's our sieve? So our sieve will spit out the things. Pop, 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 everywhere. Let's take care of these carrots. Not really needed here. Room to store carrots? No. Yes, I do. Not that much room. Okay. Now let's grab some more smooth stone bricks. Because we want to be fancy. And our autonomous 
activator. Autonomous activator will feed into the bird sieve, of course. And let's see. I think that's coming from Dark Wolf Rider. From the chest, maybe. So I can have a little buffer. And it will put it in the sieve. And of course, I don't want any items to escape. Some glass. Sorry, pumpkins. Uh, balance, I mean. I am going to have to destroy you. There we go. So we are going to create a water flow. And I want it to end. We have it here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Oh shit. Five, six, seven, eight. That's all our mandrakes. Come here, little buggers. Where are you? Okay. That's those taken care of. Specials. Potatoes. I'm making a real mess. See if I can put some stuff away. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I stuck some of my stuff away. This is what up. You will need so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A wall. And this is some this glass. And then that should neatly flow not into my house. So let's test this with a stack of gravel. This is in right click mode, okay. It'll be right clicking and it should be sucked up by the hopper because of the water stream. And then it should be put into the chest. It looks like that is actually what's happening. Okay, let's speed up the process just a little bit by using another autonomous activator. Let's do that at the other side. Go. And then all that's left to do is take some of this lead and make some more item bricks. Then right. Might even want to upgrade the chest after a while, but I guess it's more than enough for now. Item ducts. Let's go from this chest. Right to there. And I might want to make another lever. There we go, some double stone. And there we go, we've got levers everywhere. <laughs> so this will be pulling out gravel, I hope. Putting it in the autonomous activator, filling her up. And then these will continuously sieve my items and put it in the chest. I think I did that right. I hope I this one needs to be blue. Otherwise you won't import items. Think. Oh yeah, look at that. Everything is disappearing. 
Sand is getting outputted as well. Good, 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 good. And we are getting stuff in there. We're getting extra stuff in here. All my machines are fully powered. Got extra lava. This one stays at a steady rate. Alright. Okay. We've got some basic automation for making smooth stone bricks and some of the things seem to be overflowing, but I guess we can do with that. Uh, well, we've got our sieve automated and our stone bricks, so next time we should have enough stone bricks to start on our big golem farm project to make unlimited automatic iron. Okay. Now I've been saying this for a couple of episodes, but we soon will be making our golem farm. So, see you next time. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you like this video. If you dislike it, tell me why. And I can tell you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.